Yeah, yeah. I mean, I used to love. And I have never in my life met a stranger one on one, face to face. I love just about everybody that breathes. But you couldn't catch me standing up and talking to people facing me. And in this school, we had to do that almost every week. <laughs> And I couldn't, I would wait till the last, everybody else would go, and I think, was it last week, or this week? Last, last week. Last week, the teacher said, this time instead of everybody deciding when they're going to go, we're just going to go right in order, starting with you. So I suddenly was third instead of sixth. And I stood up and talked just as confidently as I'm talking to y'all right now. Praise God. Without fear. Praise God. Without fear. And that's a really cool thing. So that that was just my preamble, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> my come here. A year and a half ago, I was at Disability in Actions, America's Americans with Disabilities Act celebration. And there was some lady, part of some school, that was trying to get me to go to her school, and she didn't know that I have a first grade reading level. There is no way I'm intending to go to school anywhere ever again. <laughs> I've made it through school. I don't want to go again. <laughs> and she kept trying to get me to call her that, just that day. Like, she pursued everybody else on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. I didn't give her my number. <laughs> <laughs> so a year later, I went to that same fun celebration. And there was that lady again. <laughs> and she wouldn't let me get past her booth where she was presenting this school. And finally I said, you don't understand. I can't read right. I'm not going to be able to do your school. And she said, no, I understand. And I'm like, man, I really got to explain this. <laughs> it's not like you can just take me to your school and teach me to read. It's not a teaching problem. There's something wired wrong in my brain. So she said, let me tell you a story. She taught first through fifth grade in her career as a different thing before this. <laughs> and, and one year in fifth grade, she had a student that was reading at a first grade reading level. And that student, her parents took her out of school for part of the semester for a week or two. And when she came back, her glasses were a different color, the lenses themselves. And they got her up to her reading level in fifth grade because something got fixed and they were able to communicate with her brain right. And I said, that's exactly what I have. <laughs> so I came to school. That's how I got here. She persisted. And she understood that I wasn't going to be able to just pick up the books and read the material. 